Harrenhal, even Aegon was said to be impressed by the huge stronghold. Harren the Black was famous for his construction, but not for good reason. Over four decades, thousands have died building the great castle and materials for the construction plunged many families into ruin. Once Aegon's host was south of the lake, with the castle over on the north, many nearby families turned against King Harren and pledged allegiance to Aegon. Suddenly, Aegon outnumbered Harren the Black who took refuge in his impregnable stronghold. Harrenhal was the largest castle ever raised in Westeros and had an exhaustible source of fresh water, huge subterranean vaults fully stocked with provisions and massive walls of black stone impregnable by ram or trebuchet. Harren the Black and his host barred the gates and settled in behind the thick walls. Aegon did not rush to battle. Instead, he sent a messenger under the peace banner and asked to speak with the king. It is said that Aegon asked King Harren to yield and him and his family will be spared. Aegon had 8,000 men outside, but King Harren said that what is outside is none of his concern. The walls are strong and thick. Aegon then said that they are not as high to keep out dragons, to which Harren replied that the stones do not burn. Well, Aegon has seen melted stone before, so he made the promise that by the morning, King Harren's line would be no more. King Harren believed none of it, but did send all his men with crossbows and spears up on the walls to watch for dragons. For a long part of the night, nothing happened. The men of Harrenhal's walls thought that maybe Aegon changed his mind. But Aegon took his dragon Balerion high in the sky, so high that it looked like a fly against the moon. And then it descended, so fast that the soldiers only realized it spawned them when the moon was blackened. Balerion's black wings were only a hot wind in the night impossible to see, until he bathed the castle in black fire shot through with swirls of red that they saw him. The dragon's roar shrouded the walls and everything on them in flames. The fire was so hot that everything instantly melted, the armor on the soldiers and the castle stone reddened, turning its chambers into ovens. From outside, the river lords watched in horror as the towers glowed like embers in the night. Such was the heat that the grass surrounding the castle was torched and the nearby waters of Lake God's eye were steaming. The towers burned until the morning, lit and relit by Balerion above and Aegon riding him. A host of 8,000 souls watched the massacre from the distance, so word quickly traveled across Westeros of the power of the dragons. 